and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we'll discuss how to install a photocarometer accessory, PCA, on a Discovery DSC. The photocarometer accessory, PCA, is used with TA Instrument Discovery DSC. The accessory allows sample to be irradiated with UV or visible light inside the DSC cell. The UV or visible light is transmitted from the light source to the DSC cell via dual coarse light guide. The light guide is attached to the instrument using a special adapter. The light source, Omicure, which contains a high pressure mercury lamp, delivers light over the wavelength ranging from 250 to 650 nanometer. A board band filter, 320 to 500 nanometer, is provided with the Omicure. The PCA can be used over the temperature range from negative 50 to 250 degrees C and is compatible with the Discovery DSC using fax and RCS cooling accessory. The PCA is designed to be used with Discovery DSC and is required to be run in T4 or T4P heat flow mode. From the Trio software, go to Trio option, General, and make sure T4 or T4P heat flow mode is selected. Make sure PCA enabled is checked. Once the PCA is enabled via Trio, the auto sampler, if present, will be disabled. After that, we are ready to install the PCA. Place the PCA unit on the lab bench next to the DSC. Be sure to position the PCA in a way that allows the light guide to be connected between the PCA unit and the cell without putting strain on the light guide. Plug the RS232 cable into the P3 port on the back of the PCA unit. Connect the other end to the RS232 port on the back of the instrument. This allows the PCA light source shutter to be open and closed using the PCA shutter and PCA exposure segment in the instrument control software. Place the discovery adapter ring so that it rests on the cooler and then place the light guide adapter base inside the discovery adapter ring. Adjust the position on the adapter so that the two holes in the light guide adapter are centered over the DSC cell, sample and reference platform. Evenly tighten the four outer adjustment screw so that they are just snug. Do not over tighten them. The four inner adjustment screw can be used later to make minor adjustments to the position of the light guide adapter if needed. Insert any desired filters by unscrewing the holder end cap. Make sure that the filter slide flat in the holder before screwing the cap back on. The filter holders must be in place even if no filters are required. Mount the filter holder to the end of the light guide arm. Tighten the set screw to keep them in place. Insert the light guide arm into the reference and sample holes in the light guide adapter until they bottom out. Tighten the set screw to hold them in place. Insert the light guide into the light guide port on the left side of the PCA unit until it clicks. Plug the PCA power cord to the back of the PCA unit. Turn on the UV lamp and allow it to warm up. And the LED will start flashing when it's ready for operation. In this TA Tech Tip, we cover how to install a PCA on a Discovery DSC. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instrument and thank you for your interest.